Uh, in terms of uh, what else is, it, it is happening, um, obviously the under 20s competition has been announced for 2008, and that's going to be a big change. Uh, it's something that our clubs have pushed very strongly for. Uh, they're big believers in the opportunity uh, that it will provide for a development pathway, the development of, of, of young players, and also uh, it's a big challenge for us, I think, in the area of education and welfare an opportunity for us to continue to get involved in young people's lives um, at, at a very young age and try and keep them on the right track while also encouraging their rugby league. We're having, at the end of this month, our third rookie camp of about 60 players come in uh, for a couple of days at Sydney University and take them through a range of courses that are uh, designed to help them cope uh, with the transition from being um, a young, footballer to a first grade footballer uh, and all of the uh, trappings, pitfalls I guess, and indeed opportunities that that, that that provides. I think the game's now at a point where uh, when we talk about education and welfare, uh, it often brings up uh, the, the vision that, um, that our game's somehow under siege and always in turmoil about player behaviour and I'd like to think in the last couple of years we've moved beyond that. We're always going to have incidents, no doubt about that. Uh, young people are going to make mistakes, but I think this idea that the game's uh, under siege uh, is one that we need to move away from. We need to be pushing the message that the game's no longer under siege, that the game's not, not the only game that has problems with behaviour, but when we have them, we deal with them appropriately. And uh, if we do that, we'll continue to go forward.